Oh, Miss Fong, do you have a moment? Yeah, hi, how's it going? Uh, I'm doing good, how are you? Good. Just came back from Marin. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, we've noticed that you haven't been coming in to pick up your refills in over a month. Is something wrong? Um, no, I feel fine. I just, I have so many different medications. Sometimes I forget to pick up one in here and there, mm -hmm. but I mean, I must have just forgotten the blood pressure medication. I mean, does it even make a difference? Like I said, I just went for a run, I went to get some breakfast, I feel fine right now. Well, hypertension is a silent disease, so it's important for you to take your medications because you won't know if your uh, symptoms are being controlled or not. And if your symptoms are controlled, later on it could develop into a more serious disorder, such as uh, having a stroke or a heart attack. That's very serious. Yeah, so it's important for you to measure your blood pressure daily. Mm -hmm. um, have you been doing that lately? No, not since I was prescribed the medication. Yeah. Okay. Well, we could measure your blood pressure right now to make sure if it's under control or not, okay? Okay. So just roll up my sleeve. Uh, yeah, just roll okay. up your sleeve. Mm -hmm. Okay. So before I begin this uh, procedure, there's some important things I need to go over for you to, uh, to make sure that your measurement will be accurate. Mm -hmm. So one thing is to make sure your legs aren't crossed and to keep your feet flat on the floor. Okay. And also to make sure your back is straight and not slouched over, okay? Also okay. make sure to not talk while I'm doing the procedure to make sure that this measurement will be accurate, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. So it seems that your blood pressure measurement is 145 over 90. Oh, that's interesting, right? Uh, unfortunately not for uh, blood pressure readings. Uh, having a lower blood pressure reading is much better. So normal blood pressure reading is 120 over 80, and yours is 145 over 95, which is rather high. Mm. Mm -hmm. so. Well, the thing is, is, like I said, I've been exercising, I've started a new diet plan. Can I just do that? It's probably better for me to just take one less medication since I take so many. Uh, no, better. it's... It's not really better. I mean, it's important for you to continue uh, having a healthy diet and exercising regularly, like, you know, uh, eating less salts in your foods, which I'm sure you've been doing, and I'm sure you've been exercising as well. But as we can see, your blood pressure reading is still pretty high, even though you're doing those types of things. And it's because you're not taking your blood pressure medications regularly. Oh, I see. Okay, so, well, I mean, I see what you're saying, and I know it's really important, but like I said, I'm taking diabetes medications, I'm taking blood pressure medications, I'm taking asthma medications and cholesterol medications. How can I possibly remember all that? Do you have any suggestions? Uh, yeah, one thing that's important is to uh, make sure if you have anyone in your life that motivates you to stay healthy. Is there anyone in your life that does that for you? Yeah, my mom and dad. Yeah, so just make sure to remember your mom and dad when you're taking your medications to make sure you're there for them later on in the long run. Because, like I said, uh, hypertension can develop later on into a stroke or a heart attack. So it's important for you to just, you know, stay healthy and be in their lives longer. Mm -hmm. okay? And as for the problem of mem remembering what type of medication you're taking, um, what we have is a program called Script Your Future. And this is a wonderful program. They offer uh, us these wallet cards for you to use. So what you can do is, um, first of all, do you know what your medication is? For like hypertension? Lispril, lis uh, Lisinopril? Yes. Yeah. So you could put down uh, the name of the medication, Lisinopril, on here and take, put down why you're taking it, which will be for hypertension, as well as when you're starting to take it and when you need to come in for your refills. And you could also put down how often you're taking it throughout the day. So there's multiple columns here, so you can keep track of all the medications you're taking. Like I know you've said you take diabetes medications as well as mm -hmm. other medications. So you just put them all down and keep track of what you're taking. And you can also show it to the pharmacist and have them sign it for you. Okay? Okay. Right. Sounds good. And I'll be sure to bring this to my physician as well mm -hmm. and have them fill it out too. Alright, excellent. So I will take my meds for my mom and dad. Thanks, Andy. No.